Well, congratulations. You've received one or more offers on your property and we've gotten agreement on one. You've gone under contract. Yay. Now what? Now what? You know what happens next is the buyer has three days to put up their earnest money deposit uh, for the closing and they also have so many days to have the property inspected. What happens after the property's been inspected, Judy? Well, there'll be some kind of a negotiation. Nine times out of 10, there'll be a negotiation. So there, so the, the buyer has the right, and if you were the buyer, you would also have the right to have the property inspected. So there's actually two inspections. There's the property inspection, and then there's a four-point inspection for the insurance company. So the house has to pass a four-point wind mitigation test and that involves your roof. If your roof does not have five years or more life on it, we're gonna to have to talk about that. It involves your air conditioner, it involves the electrical, and it involves your plumbing. So these are repairs or, or things that might be required, not as a request by the buyer, but as a condition of the buyer being able to obtain homeowner's insurance. And we are with you every step of the way through this negotiation process contract to close. This is when our transaction coordinator is monitoring the deadlines, ensuring all the deadlines and, and every all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. Getting the appraisals, getting the getting the surveys, and things like that. Everything that's needed to get to that big final closing date. In our next video, we'll talk about what happens when you get clear to close. Stay tuned.